I've reviewed almost all Android tablets that have been released in recent years, especially those from brands such as Samsung, Lenovo, Amazon, Asus, Acer, Honor, Xiaomi and a few others. Which of these are currently the best? That's what you will learn now. Here are the 10 best Android tablets you can buy right now. I will read all the tablets on this list myself and spend at least several weeks with each of them. I always test tablets 100% independently and have never and would never ask for or accept money for a tablet review. We will start with the cheapest Android tablet. The Lenovo Tab M9 usually only costs around $95 and is a surprisingly good 9 inch tablet at this price, significantly better than what Amazon offers with the Fire HD 8 series. It's got a high quality metal case and a small and nice 9 inch display, which could be higher resolution but is good overall. The processor and other features are also adequate. It's clear that you won't get top performance in this price range and the latest software isn't installed. But if you're looking for a small tablet for reading ebooks or a small tablet to keep your kids entertained in the back of a car, then it's a good choice. It's very affordable and I think it's surprisingly good for the price. By the way, you can find links to my detailed reviews, specs and to Amazon in the description below. The prices I mention here are US prices, but the Amazon link should always guide you to your local Amazon store. The Xiaomi Redmi Pad SE also offers a fantastic price performance ratio. Although it only costs around $160, it offers a good 11 inch 90Hz display, a high quality metal body and a long battery life. What is particularly exciting however is that we get 128GB of internal storage as a standard. That's a lot for $160 and combined with a long battery life and good display means it's an excellent value entertainment tablet with enough storage to download lots of movies for a long train journey for example. The processor performance is good but the graphics performance could be better. Games like PUBG Mobile do run but only on the lowest graphics settings. Gamers should spend a little bit more. For fans of small tablets the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 is a slightly better alternative to the Lenovo Tab M9. Here we get an 8.7 inch display that is slightly brighter than Lenovo's. Above all however the processor and graphics performance are a good deal better. Samsung also wants to distribute major software updates for at least 2 years so it will be up to date longer than Lenovo in this respect. You will have to pay around $25 more for these additional features so around $120 in total. I think it's worth it for most people because better processor performance and longer updates are always good. For true perfection we are still in the too cheap range of this list but the price performance ratio is great. It's just a shame that the battery life is quite short and the A9 does not support an S Pen. The next Samsung tablet on this list, the 11 inch Galaxy Tab A9 Plus also does not support an S Pen. This is a noticeably better alternative to the Redmi Pad SE especially in terms of graphics performance. As a result not only PUBG Mobile but also really fancy games like Genshin Impact can be played well. Unfortunately Fortnite doesn't run smoothly but we can't expect that at the current price of around $180. All other features are also good. As with Xiaomi we get a full HD display with 90Hz. Samsung is always great with updates and the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus will also be supplied with the latest software for several years. I also think it's great that it supports the DeX desktop mode. No tablet is perfect and neither is this one. The battery life could be longer and I wish all Samsung tablets had an S Pen but as I said it lacks one. With the sub $300 Lenovo Tab Plus we get real perfection for the first time. The speakers of this affordable tablet are better than those of all its competitors, even better than the 13 inch iPad Pro. It has 8 so called JBL Hi-Fi Matrix speakers with Dolby Atmos which can fill a room with up to 26 watts. For music lovers the speakers are really great. To make room for the speakers the housing is 13.5mm thick on the thickest side. They have also used the space for a built in folding stand which is really useful. All other features of the Lenovo Tab Plus are good but not top class like the speakers. We get a nice 11.5 inch display with 90Hz and at least 128GB of storage which I think is great. The performance is roughly on par with the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus so you are paying more for the speakers for the most part. The tablet has another important feature that also sets it apart from the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus and justifies a higher price. It supports the Lenovo Pen Plus which is an active stylus. 
And this stylus is pretty well implemented, making it the first tablet on this list with good pen support. You have to buy the stylus separately. By the way, as of now the Lenovo Tab Plus is not available in all markets including the US yet. It's very new, but I'm sure it will be available globally soon. The new Xiaomi Redmi Pad Pro also costs around $300. It doesn't have as good speakers as the Lenovo, but it has a really nice and beautiful large 12.1 inch display. The screen is really great, not only because it's so big, but also because we get a high resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels for the first time. It's also brighter than previous devices on this list at 500 nits and it supports 120 hertz. I have almost nothing but praise for the Redmi Pad Pro. It offers a metal body, good speakers, up to date software and above all a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 processor, which makes it noticeably more powerful than the previous tablets on this list. It gets even better. You can get both a very good stylist and a solid keyboard cover. Thanks to this, the large display and the low price, I think it's also really suitable for children and students. You can play games, watch movies, but also take handwritten notes and do homework with the keyboard. This tablet also has disadvantages of course. You have to charge the pen and keyboard separately. It only has USB 2.0 and no fingerprint reader. But it's also under $300 and at this price it's really good and a top recommendation from me. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE and S9 FE Plus are also a top recommendation. The S9 FE has a 10.9 inch display and the S9 FE Plus is 12.4 inches. Apart from the display size, they are otherwise identical. Prices start at around $410 with the S Pen always included. With the S9 FE series we get a whole range of useful premium features for the first time. These include a fingerprint reader and a metal body that is protected against water and dust in accordance with the IP68 standard. The light in particular is really useful, for example if you want to read an ebook or watch Netflix in the bathtub. The S Pen is a major highlight. It works a lot better than the previous tablets from Lenovo and Xiaomi with the stylus. In fact the S Pen here is almost as good as on the much more expensive S9 series and both S9 FE tablets are excellent for handwritten notes but also for drawing and painting. We get high resolution and bright LCDs here, both of which support 90Hz. Optionally you can also get a very good keyboard cover that is better than the Redmi Pad Pro. The software is also better because as is typical for Samsung, the S9 FE tablets will receive long updates. It supports Samsung DeX and I think Samsung Notes is an excellent note taking app. The Samsung Exynos 1380 processor ensures decent performance, allowing you to play most games with slightly higher graphics settings. However, it is not actually that much better than the Redmi Pad Pro, which is over $100 cheaper. With Samsung you pay the surcharge for the premium features and the S Pen and not for the processor performance. You get a lot of processing power with the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro, which is a good deal more expensive at under $600. This tablet is equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 flagship processor with at least 8GB RAM and 256GB memory. It's significantly more powerful than the previous devices on this list and the graphics performance is even more than twice as good as the Galaxy Tab S9 FE. This makes the Pad 6S Pro really well suited for gaming. PUBG Mobile and Genshin Impact can be played smoothly with the highest graphic settings. Fortnite should theoretically also run great, but I was actually unable to install it for my test due to a software bug. The other features are also good. It has a high quality metal body and a really nice 12 inch LCD display with a very high resolution of 348 by 2032 pixels. At 700 nits it's also brighter than the iPad Air and even supports 144 Hz. As an option you can buy a really good stylus that is just as good as Samsung's S Pen. There's even a keyboard cover which is also well made. Does it all sound too good to be true? No, the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro is actually top class in most respects. However, it's plagued by minor software bugs from time to time, for example with the keyboard's cover's mouse. These bugs are not a deal breaker, but they do explain the relatively low price compared to Samsung and Apple. Sadly, this tablet is not available everywhere, but in most Asian and European countries. Now we get to the first real winner. The Lenovo Legion Tab is by far the best 8 inch Android tablet on the market. It's vastly superior to the competition in pretty much every respect, but it's also significantly more expensive at over $500. As the name Legion Tab indicates, it is mainly aimed at gamers. But it's a normal Android tablet and can be used by anyone for anything of course. 
The core of the tablet is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset, which makes it slightly weaker than the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro. With at least 12GB of RAM and 250GB of storage, it is well equipped and the graphics performance is so good that you can play almost any game with the highest graphics settings. In this case, this also includes Fortnite, which can be played smoothly with epic graphics settings and 75% 3D resolution. The Legion tab has an 8.8 inch IPS display with a high resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels and this makes it really sharp. It's also great that it's 500 nits bright and supports 144 Hz. Even better, you can write on the display with the same Lenovo Pen Plus stylus that works with the Lenovo Tab Plus. On the Legion tab, the pen works even better, almost as well as the S Pen. It's a pity that some premium features such as the fingerprint reader are missing. It's also unfortunate that there's no 5G option because otherwise you could even replace a smartphone with it. But it does have a nice high quality metal body. Sadly, the Lenovo Legion tab is not available everywhere. I imported mine from China, but by now it's also available in a couple of European countries. The sad truth is that there's no real competitor in the Android space. If you want a premium 8-inch Android tablet, this is pretty much the only choice available globally. The only competition is the iPad mini. I don't think anyone is surprised by the overall winners. Based on my reviews, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, Galaxy Tab S9 Plus and Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra are the best Android tablets on the market. The S9 is 11 inches, the S9 Plus measures 12.4 inches and the S9 Ultra a whopping 14.6 inches. Apart from the display size, the three tablets are almost identical. Prices start at around $650. The Galaxy Tab S9 series is packed with premium features. They all have fingerprint readers located under the display. The housings are protected against water and dust in accordance with the IP68 standard and have a very high quality finish. The battery life is long, the speakers are great and they should be kept up to date until Android 17. The OLED screens are a major highlight. As a result, the S9 tablets have significantly better displays than all the other devices on this list. The contrast is stronger, they are bright and black is real black and not a dark grey like on an LCD. At the same time, the displays are very high resolution and each supports up to 120Hz. The S Pen stylus is also really great, absolutely top class. Even the optional keyboard covers are really well implemented. The performance of the built-in Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor is also great, allowing you to play all games with the highest graphic settings, including Fortnite, which runs really well. The only real disadvantage is the price. You can easily spend $1,500 for a Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra with top features. That's a lot of money when you consider that you can get roughly the same processing power with the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro. And you can also get almost the same premium features including the S Pen with the Galaxy Tab S9 FE series. But none of them have OLEDs. So those were the 10 best Android tablets you can currently buy. There are many more that are currently available of course and these include the Lenovo Tab P12, P11 Gen 2 and the M11 as well as the Samsung S6 Lite 2024 and Active 5, the Xiaomi Pad 6, Honor Pad 9, Amazon Fire Max 11 and so on and so forth. I've reviewed all of them and you can find the reviews on mynexttablet.com and here on the channel. Some of them are great but they are not good enough to make it on a top 10 list. You can find links to all reviews and to Amazon in the description below.